we gave it to our superiors. Well, nothing happened. Nobody followed up on this. They discovered Ramzi Yusuf's computer with the Bojinka plan in 1996 in the Philippines. It talked about taking hijacked planes and running them into the Pentagon, the White House, the Capitol, the CIA headquarters, and the Twin Towers. The Pentagon staged an exercise a year before, in October of 2000, at the site with the Arlington County Fire Department uh, to simulate a plane running into the Pentagon and how the fire responders would get there and what they would do. So this was not outside the box or, you know, out in the blue. They not only expected it, they prepared for it. Una one of the most frequent declarations made by the Bush administration was that these attacks took us by surprise. I don't think anybody could have predicted that they would try to use an airplane as a missile, a hijacked airplane as a missile. And I don't think the prior government that could envision flying airplanes in the buildings on such a massive scale. Secondo USA Today, dal 1999, According to USA Today, in 1999, the American Air Force conducted special exercises four times per year in which the hijacking of civil aeroplanes by terrorists was simulated. The selected targets were the Twin Towers and the Pentagon. Anybody could have the prior government that could envision flying airplanes in the buildings could have predicted. I don't think the prior government that could envision flying airplanes in the buildings. On the 11th of September 2002, the New York Times wrote, One year later, the public knows less about the circumstances of 2,801 deaths at the foot of Manhattan in broad daylight than people in 1912 knew within weeks about the Titanic. Five years after that article, what happened that day is still a mystery. My name is Bob McElveen. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, I lost my son Bobby, who's age 26, on September 11, 2001. He had just gotten a job at Merrill Lynch. <laughs> Already. <laughs> it's, it always hits you blind. <laughs> and, uh, don't worry, I'll get over it. But I mean, any time you just mention that day, it's, it's, it's like the pain just comes shooting up. And, of course, when you keep doing this, it just, you, know, you think it gets better, but it just never gets better. The conclusions that the 9-11 Commission came to have been very disappointing. A lot of evidence has been ignored. Many witnesses were not called to testify. The final report glosses over a great many key issues. A few days before 9-11, Mohammed Atta received a huge sum of money. Uh, about uh, $100,000, money which was delivered by a Pakistani Secret Service officer. And the big scandal is that the 9-11 Commission of the U.S. Congress never um, interrogated this man and never tried to um, bring light into the story of this 100000 While everybody was doing testimony televised, to the whole nation, mine was behind closed door. Now, why would they want that behind closed door? That didn't make any sense. Anyway, I told them exactly the same argument that we have here, that we heard explosions, that uh, people were burned, the prior the building uh, getting hit by the plane, that these people were alive, and they were available to be uh, uh, interrogated. And uh, wow, what a surprise. The final report comes out. They didn't even mention my name is, doesn't appear anyway. They didn't call not even once any of the witnesses that we gave them. So you have 17 uh, 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 firefighters, you have 22 survivors, and they didn't call not even one of them.
specifically me as a parent, I have an obligation to find out who murdered my son. The commission gave me nothing. 9-11 commission was not an investigation. Remember, the entire bin Laden family was on one, one of the planes later. They'd been collected from all over the United States, and they were whisked out of the country with the speed of light while the Pentagon was still burning. So they asked Mueller, who authorized these people to leave the country? Well, someone in the State Department. Well, can you tell us who? He said, well, I don't recall. I don't recall. Another instance, General Myers, this is later on in the commission. They asked about Musawi. Do you recall getting any information concerning Musawi? His answer was, I don't recall. I don't, I don't recall. recall. I don't recall. Ashcroft, Attorney General. Picard was the FBI head during the summer. He had testified that they had all these warnings, 71 different warnings about something happening this summer. And Ashcroft sat there and lied. He said, I didn't know of these things. I didn't know of these warnings. We were paying attention to terrorism. No warning signs that I'm aware of. Anybody and I don't think the prior government predicted. could envision flying airplanes in the buildings. These people lied, and our government protected them. It was obvious they were lying. These people that people were testifying should have gone. Mueller should be in jail. Ashcroft should be in jail. Condoleezza Rice should be in jail. I don't think, I don't think anybody would no have predicted that they were trying to get airplanes and punish. Osama bin Laden is the world's most And punish those responsible. They have this evil organization. They have the leader, bin Laden. Punish, dead or alive. They have a secret network in the caves of Afghanistan. Tonight, the United States of America makes the following demands on the Taliban. Deliver to United States authorities all the leaders of Al-Qaeda who hide in your land. Give the United States full access to terrorist training camps so we can make sure they are no longer operating. These demands are not open to negotiation or discussion. Obviously, they will never catch Bin Laden, because then everybody will think the war on terror is over. It's hard for Americans to imagine how evil people are who are doing this. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm a parent looking for the murder of my son. And you have to be a moron to think that 19 Arabs did it. Again, my dogs know better than that. So that's a very important. Put yourself in my shoes and think of your child being murdered. And you've never had an investigation. Well, how would you feel if they refused to investigate the murder of your child?